I was just gonna say, like, BLM and Antifa are like the women's soccer of domestic terrorism. <laughs> like, <laughs> wow! I mean, wow! You literally have people who want to stand up and pretend like they're really tough, right? But as soon as somebody comes running at them, ready to play actual defense, they grab their knee and dive to the ground like soy-addled kamikaze pilots. I and then it. at the end of the game, nothing, nothing. Congratulations, you get a participation trophy. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of uh, whining, crazy, drug-addled, uh, stunning and brave people, yes, we need to talk about the the new, the new and invigorated police response to oh. uh, stunning and brave protests that actually were peaceful. Correct. I don't know if you guys heard about this because it was on Tim Pool recently. Put it on the screen. But yeah, it's it's been uh, it's been interesting. Police tear gas and beat Trump supporters protesting lockdown. Conservatives furious with police. Gee, I wonder why. All right, I me, wonder why they would be upset with the police over this. Let me explain something to you. Conservatives are not the people that you want to have furious with you, especially. <laughs> in these trying times we have right now because BLM and Antifa, they throw Molotov cocktails and fireworks and they're, they're doing the laser thing. You know, they're, they're being a pain in the ass. When the conservatives get to that point, yeah, it, 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 it it's going to be ugly. And let me tell you, there's a lot of people in the conservative side who served in the military. Just a bit. Okay. A lot of these guys have multiple deployments under the belt. Some of them, like me, have multiple wars. And small unit tactics is taught in the Army because it works. True story. And that is what you're going to have. But uh, what I what really wanted to point out here. All right. Was like, I can't imagine why you know people would be upset with the police over this. I mean, could it be... That, you know, there's a lot of events in recent history where police stood by while numerous cities were burned to the ground, torched, rioted, looted. And the police um, sat by. And they just sat by and did nothing. And they, and they had a conference with Jack and shit. A little bit, and Jack left town. And Jack left town. Yeah, we have examples right here. Portland riots continue without feds as local police stand down. Minneapolis mayor defends stand down order. Oh, yeah. And these are the uh right, now, and these you, are the crappy domestic terrorists. I want you, you to know? imagine this. You have three platoons of conservative guys, military trained. That's a that's roughly 90 guys. Sniper overwatch maneuvering on said police who are not trained to handle that, don't have the equipment, and quite frankly will shit their pants as soon as that. They roll up in their squad cars. Oh yeah, well, oh, God. And all of a sudden, that's it. You, you, I mean, you got you got people putting down the base of fire. You got fire teams maneuvering. You got Overwatch. The, 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 either they quit, die, or run away. I mean, that, that's that's what's well, going to yeah. happen. Yeah, I was just going to say, like BLM and Antifa are like. The women's soccer of domestic terrorism. <laughs> like, <laughs> wow! I mean, wow! You literally have people who want to stand up and pretend like they're really tough, right? But as soon as somebody comes running at them, ready to play actual defense, they grab their knee and dive to the ground like soy addled kamikaze pilots. I and love then it. at the end of the game, nothing, nothing. Congratulations, you get a participation trophy. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you have your entire life while you're living in your mother and father's basement. Listen, I I'm having a hard time discovering who the useful idiot is. Is it the government or is it the crowd of good dudes like, doing the crazy stuff? I, I, I really you know, am. They, they are so off in the weeds. It's I'm like, real easy to confuse them at this point. I, I really am. I'm like, well, is it the policymakers who are the useful idiots or is it the people like doing the stupid shit? And I don't, I don't get it. But of course, there's no there's no bias in the media no, or no, in law enforcement. No, no. You know, listen, I'm gonna be honest. I don't even listen to what the media has to say. I, I don't watch it. Like I will watch a little bit of Fox here and there, but for the most part, they can f off, yes. pound sand, and ram it right up there. Uh. 
Watch Grunt Speak live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern and bring the strong stuff. <laughs>